Oakland Raiders will go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday, October 30th in Week 8 NFL action. The Raiders are 4-0 straight up and against the spread on the road this season, and they'll get another crack in Florida as road underdogs against the Buccaneers. Early in the week, Tampa Bay was favored by a point, but it will be interesting to see how this line moves. There are a lot of intriguing factors about this game, and this line in particular. It's about the same line that opened for last week's Oakland vs. Jacksonville game, and the Raiders rolled to victory in that one. The Buccaneers are coming off a cross-country trip to San Francisco, where they scored their biggest win of the season with a 17-point triumph. The Oakland Raiders are 5-2 straight up and 4-3 against the number, with all four of their wins coming as a road team. The Oakland Raiders have everything you could want in an offense. They have only turned the ball over five times in seven games and have a very balanced attack. Derek Carr has completed 66% of his passes with a 13-3 touchdown interception ratio. Latavius Murray has run for four yards per carry and DeAndre Washington and Jalen Richard have run for five yards per carry and 6.1 yards per carry respectively. Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree are two legitimate receiving weapons. Oakland's 5.9 yards per play is just one of the many offensive statistics that rank in the top 10, so it's all there for the Raiders. As good as the offense has been, the defense has been another story. When Oakland hasn't been able to force a turnover, they've been giving up a plethora of points. The Raiders have 13 takeaways this season, but they rank 25th in points allowed and first in yards allowed. They're the only team in the NFL to allow over 3,000 yards so far this season. Opponents have managed 6.7 yards per play on the Raiders. There have not been nearly enough negative plays with just nine sacks in seven games. Opponents are rushing for five yards per carry, so tackles for loss haven't been in the dictionary for the Oakland defense this season. The Raiders have allowed 32 receptions of 20 or more yards, which is something they'll have to fix going up against Jameis Winston. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are 3-3 three three straight up and 3-3 three three against the spread. They have only been favored once this season and lost at home to Los Angeles. Beating the 49ers in San Francisco is not a big achievement, but a 17-point win margin in which Tampa Bay racked up over 500 yards is impressive. They had 264 yards through the air and 249 on the ground in their most balanced offensive showing of the season. Jaquiz Rogers has taken over as the feature back in the absence of Doug Martin and Charles Sims, and he ran for 154 yards in the win. Jameis Winston threw one pick, but he was mostly efficient, with three touchdown passes and 269 yards. This game came out of the bye week, and it was a big performance. The question is, did the Bucks fix some things, or was this an anomaly? The Tampa Bay defense has not been as bad as the Oakland defense, but they have had issues containing big plays. The Bucks are tied with Carolina for the most yards allowed per catch, which is not all that surprising because the majority of Tampa Bay's defensive talent is in the front seven. They've held the opposition to four yards per carry, but their calling card is an inability to stop the pass. Tampa Bay has now forced seven turnovers over the last two games, but Oakland does not turn the ball over and they do force a lot of turnovers. Turnovers will likely be the key to this game. This is a tough game to pick because it's going to come down to turnovers. It's such a unique spot for the Raiders, who will be away from their families for over a week. It helps to be in the Eastern time zone and not have the travel fatigue, but it's still a major change to the team's rhythm. The Buccaneers finally played a complete game and maybe that will instill some confidence, particularly on offense, with a good matchup here. Our pick and prediction, is to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at minus one.